All right, what's up, everybody? Back here with a number, another gameplay video. This would be, let me do the math. Gameplay video number ten. Still in the ACC. This time we're looking at Georgia Tech and Maryland. Take a look at Georgia Tech's pitching staff real quick. There's Maryland. And like I say in my other videos, if you haven't seen these, these guys at this point, I'm shooting this on August 28th, 2019. These were done in July for the ACC. That's when I was working on them. But these are all guys that uh, show you the batting order here. These are all guys that were playing on the 2019 team, but that were freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Left the seniors out for obvious reasons. This thing isn't going to be ready until the 2020 season. All right, that's Georgia Tech, so it looks like they've got a pretty good team here. Maryland. Eh, not too bad. <clears throat> Some of the guys that you'll see may be juniors that were drafted, but if you see that, don't worry about that. Those will be taken out by the time you get it when the new rosters come out for the teams in real life. And in 2020, I'll be doing some upgrades and changes. Like these guys here, see this open players. This just meant, that just meant I didn't have enough guys that registered playing time with them this year in 2019 to fill out the team. So let's back out of there real quick. Go to the creation zone, take a look at each team. So you can see their overall rating. All right, here you go. This is George Tech. Take a look at him real quick. Junior. Hmm. I'd imagine he was drafted. I'd take a look at that. And I'm pretty sure Kyle was. I think I actually just came across his name yesterday, so I'll have to take a look into that, but... Like I said, by the time these rosters go up for sale, those guys, these guys will all be out of there. Just wanted to just kind of put everybody in there and try to try to go through these rosters and try to get them done by the beginning of the next college season. So here's Maryland. You see Georgia Tech has a lot more high-end guy. A lot more high-end guys there, but... Maryland's roster doesn't look half bad itself. A couple open guys at the bottom, one pitcher. All right, so back out of there. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. Game mode, exhibition. I'll use Georgia Tech this time. I know they're going to be, wow, they're really, huh. I didn't know they were going to be that much more superior than uh, the Maryland. <clears throat> a plus team versus a D. But that'll change. Like I said, some of those Georgia Tech guys, I believe they were, a few of them were drafted, so they'll be coming out of the game soon. Usually I take the lesser team, but I want to go with Georgia Tech this time. Let's see how it works out. You never know, I could end up losing. Junior. All right, so with Georgia Tech, really solid pitching staff. I don't know what I did. I don't know why Maryland's was highlighting this guy, but we're gonna have Thompson start. For us, we'll go with Thomas. Maybe take a look at what some of these other guys have as well. Herder, Curry. Yeah. See what English has got, but anyway, let's go with that. There you see the lineups. You zoom in a little bit on that so you can see that. Alright, so there you go. As you can see, Georgia Tech's got a lot more, like I said, high-end talent and depth as well. One through nine in the lineup. Let's go 
ahead and pick a field here. Oh, well, let's play at Russ Chandler, even though it's a road game for us. All right, so here we go. Turn on the volume, enough of me talking. Hello, everybody. Hmm. Tonight's game features the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Maryland Terrapins. Michael Goldberg. Pitcher's ready to go. Oh, ah. The batter takes the ball. The I forgot to turn the hitter's eye off. All right, that's okay. Morning track power, baby. <clears throat> Amazing that with 92 power, he couldn't get a home Here's run. Here's the home team's defensive alignment. The Terrapins have an outfield that can surprise you with their speed. These guys are good the balls. Hits right down no the middle chance. of the plate. So of I felt like I got it. The balls off the back Morning ball track ball. power. Oh, if you've oh. watched any of my previous videos, there have been nine others. Never hit a home run. They've hit home runs with guys with 60 power, 66 power. I know they did last game I played. It's spread free, but the ball is loose. He's out of there. And I've got guys with 90 power. I can't even get a home run. So. Can you do? Come on. Brutal. Two gone. All right, so Tristan English here. I don't know if I called him Tanner English. I might have confused him. So I know there's a player that used to play named Tanner English that I had for a while in my MVP roster. But this is Tristan English here. Oh, the hook missed too low. Oh, he's got no speed. <clears throat> yeah, so Tanner English was a guy who was released this year by Minnesota. I don't know if they're related at all, but... Tristan English we've got here at the plate. Uh, he offered it that way. We're just going to send the runner here to try to protect the batter. Pickoff throw. Pickoff play. If they pick him off, I don't care. Runner runner goes and, and then I swing at a ball. <laughs> I notice I do that a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't have cared if I got thrown out so we can get, have English bat again. <clears throat> of course, that all went out the window when you swing at a ball.
and I got a little overzealous there and skipped through the pitcher warm-ups. The Yellow Jackets have an outfield that's fundamentally sound. The only time they have a problem on some of the real tough play. It really is an outfield you know exactly what you're going to get. They'll make spectacular plays, but they'll make most of them. That's a defense you can live with. Trying to spass ball in. And a fastball right in there for a called strike three. Justin Vaught. Pretty good power here. Two out, nobody on. The hook is too low. Ah. That's a ball, breaking ball. track shot again. Ah. So fly ball. Come on, drop, 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 drop. Yes. Here's a grounder to the right side. Throw to first. That's in time for the out. Georgia Tech leaves a man on first. We'll be going to the bottom of the inning. It's scoreless. Oh, wow. Look at that power. 97. Woo. Maxwell Costas. that one. Michael Pinheiro. Good hitter here too. Breaking ball right at the knees over the outside edge. Right. Let's see if we can get something down and in. Try to get a, the ground ball out of it or something. Or that. Try to get that strike out right here with a curveball. Yes. Out. Number one is digging in. It's 
It's a little bit of power here still. Not much contact, but... Let's go McCann. Yeah, so getting back to it, Kyle was actually drafted in the fourth round by Oakland. I knew I saw him recently when I was working on my my MVP 05 rosters. Looks like he was drafted number 134 overall. That's Kyle McCann. And they've got him at in the Penn League short season right now. Looks like he's doing pretty terrible. He's <laughs> only hitting about 200. Hey, all four. There we go. I'll take that. And then that was Tristan English there. This was a fastball there. He was drafted in the third round by Arizona. So I wonder if they drafted him as a as a pitcher or as a hitter. Oh no! I was already thinking about second base on that one and whether I could score. Wow. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Uh, looks here, it says they, the Diamondbacks drafted English as a first baseman. So, there's our answer. He pulls the bat <clears throat> back. Alright, there's ball four. He's trying to get the, the number that English was drafted. Third round, it said. Number 93 overall. Two out, but down two men aboard. There's the strike. 
strike and a changeup. No balls and one strike. There's a high changeup, usually a pitcher's nightmare. A 90 power here for Radcliffe. Oh, jeez. Like, for some reason, I'm just off just a little bit versus this guy. High fly ball, the center See, look at that 90 power. It's right down the middle, and it's not even up. <laughs> Let's get these bats going. Inside, tried to get him to nibble on a changeup. He wasn't having any of it. Right. Yeah, good pitch. Fastball on the corner for a strike. Tried to check his swing and good. Out there onto the football field. They tried to sneak one by him, but he puts a great swing on it. Ripped out for a no doubt. It's the first home run I've hit. This is my 10th game doing this. And that's the first home run he is allowed. Nice job. Takes one. Showing why he was drafted, right? Takes a fastball for a call strike. Ah. Popped up. Makes the catch for the first out. Oh yeah, so I was looking at English. He's actually playing at, at short A, short season A ball right now. Tried to check his swing and good. So it looks like he's doing okay. He's off to a decent start, hitting 271. Also in about 175 ABs. Well, he's doing a lot better than I am. I think we're going to try hit and run here. Takes off. Hit out to right. Oh the third man, out. nice Here's catch. Man I thought that was... Oh. Alright. Go to Xavier on Curry. Let him get loose a little bit. A ground ball headed for the hole, and it's a diving catch. English flash in the leather. Number 16 is digging in. The coach is on his way out to the mound. Huh? All right, the Herder look good. are making a substitution. Number one is going to come in as a reliever. Xavier like on Curry in now. Playing a matchup here. He'll bring it. The ball hit out to left, and comes 
up with it for the out. It's a shallow left. The sophomore is aboard with a base hit, and there's two away. Number 25 is now over two with the play today. Swing and a miss on a breaking ball low. Tries to steal second base. The oh. sophomore with a stolen Whew. base. Nice work on their part. All right, got out of it. Maryland leaves a man on second with three innings remaining. It's one to nothing. Oh, takes one outside. Seven speed over there at first. And they pitch out. See, they know. They know what you're up to. Here's the steal. I fucked up on that one. This one's headed for the gap. And look at that. That's easily a three bagger. Brutal. It looks like they'll give him an intentional walk here. I like what they're doing there, trying to set up the double play. He offered it that one. And then he knows I'm over, over anxious and I want to get that RBI. So he throws me some bull. CPU's got to know right now that I'm hit on the ground toward the hole, right through the hole, and a run will come in to score. Nicely Number done. Seven is aboard with a single, and there's one away. All right, we've got to catch that other run. Way out to the mat. He needs to settle his pitcher down. His location has been inconsistent lately. Number 22 is in the on deck circle. Number 16 is now one for three. Let's go, McCann. Do it again, baby. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Take him out. Take him out. Yes. And it will score a run. Number 22 is 0 for 2 today. Breaking ball for a strike down on the inside corner. All right, let's go, English. Come on. The inning's over, making a sub. All right, let's get this. Let's get these three outs here. Oh, and one. Straight away, fly ball. One gone. Number eleven is up next. Swing and a miss on the hook, low and away. 
misses. All right, come on, let's go. We got two strikes here. Let's get this guy out so we don't have the tying run coming up. Come on, see Let's try to drop a curve in like I like to do. Yeah. All right, so there it is. Gameplay video number 10. Georgia Tech and Maryland, three to nothing. There you see the line, and eh, we'll skip the box score, nothing interesting, so. All right, so that's video number 10. Thanks for watching, got lots more videos up right now and a lot more to come. Take care everybody.